story starts with a phone call. I a call from a, from a good buddy of mine he said he found me a lantern. And uh, I said, okay, I'll stop down. So it was a, uh, it's just a common 220F. It's in really nice, pretty nice shape and such. And fired right up with a little bit of, just did a little wipe down and fired it up. And he said, I also got you something else. I'm not sure what it is, but it says Coleman on it. And it looks like it has a beehive on its head. So I knew what it was right away. It was a, a heater, a uh, ceramic heater, so uh, I went down and picked them off of it. It fired right up too, works perfect. So that was a first bonus, but uh, the reason I bring this up is because he told me where he, he got these at, at a uh, yard sale. And he said uh, he doesn't know much about Coleman stuff, he said, but uh, there may be some other stuff up there. So I got up the next morning and I thought, well, I'll take a ride up and see. So that's what I did. And I'll show you what I found. One of the first things I noticed when I got there was uh, a box full of old paint cans and such. And as I got to looking around, I noticed that one of them was a bit odd. And as I dug through there, I found it was a uh, a heater for a 502 stove. So I I dug that out of there, and uh, that was a that was a whole dollar. And uh, went in the back room, and there was an old lantern, one le hand lantern left hanging there. They had sold most of their lanterns, but there was one old one, and it was a, it's a 1950. The only thing it says on the bottom is B50. So I got to looking at it, and it looks like it probably has a nickel base on it, but uh, it's really green. Matter of fact, first I thought it might have been a mill spec hanging there, <laughs> the way it was hanging, and, but uh, it's not. So I'm looking from still looking for a ways to clean that up a little bit I don't want to go straight to polishing in case I don't want to polish all the nickel off of it if there is nickel under it which I'm pretty sure there is but I'm not sure but uh, so I got the, the heater and that and then I've seen the box well first off I put the stuff that I had bought went to put it in a car in the back of my truck and the guy said there's more camping stuff in the house so I thought well I better go look so I went back and I seen the uh, aluminum case for a 502 stove and I thought well if they had a case if they had a heater and a case there must be a stove here somewhere and lo and behold the uh, stove was in it it has a little uh, rash along the bottom no no rust or anything just some paint loss which I think we can fix up it fired right up I put the put the heated the uh, generator a little bit and it fired right up and ran perfect so that's another bonus and then while I was in there I, I seen two of these uh, the US Army mess kits one has utensils one doesn't but they're the stainless ones US uh, issue so uh, they're always nice to have around but the one thing that really impressed me I uh, was looking through on some shelves in the back back of the garage and I seen this old coffee pot that I thought was had to be a camping pot of some kind so uh, I went back and got it and uh, there it is. But, uh, just did a quick cleanup on it a little bit. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit more, but uh, it's really nice. Got copper trim on it and stuff. And uh, I really like that. Cleaned that up. I'll clean that up a little better, and that'll be good for a coffee challenge or two. And of course, my. I found a plastic Coleman's clock. If it says Coleman on it, you got to buy it. So 
that was a whole dollar too so and plus a funnel and another little baby oil can and all in all with the lantern the heater the stove the case the coffee pot the two mess kits the funnel and the oil can I uh, I blew a, a whole fifteen dollars so that's not too bad I can deal with that so I came home all satisfied and I couldn't wait to start tearing the lantern apart so I can soak that font and see if I can do something with it so it's it's halfway apart now but uh, I said laid there last night and I remembered something the guy said uh, before I left he said you need to go in that back room there and look through them drawers you don't know what you're going to find some junk in them drawers back there so that bothered me so I got up this morning <laughs> and went back up it's only about 15-20 minutes from my house so I drove back up and we joked around a little bit about me not being able to sleep thinking I missed something and uh, sure enough I found a few more things today so let me clear the table off and I'll put them up for you. Okay, so now it's day two for the same sale. <laughs> I uh, went up, I was nibbing around. I had seen uh, seen this uh, Trangia pot yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday when I was up there and I passed on it. Because I, I had found so many other things, I just didn't give it much thought. But uh, after I got home last night, I got to thinking, I'll go back up there, maybe that pot will still be there. And it was, so I picked it up and one of the green bases for the uh, propane bottles on the uh, propane lanterns and stuff. I always pick them up when I see them because if I don't use them I know somebody that will so and then I uh, seen this roll up there and it had a I didn't know what was in it so I got to looking and it's a like a little I don't know if it's be like a brazing kit it's got like a little miniature torch and uh, four brazing tips and a little hawk burner that comes with it I don't know that I'd ever find a a fitting that <clears throat> would fit fit on the end of it I mean it's pretty small fittings I'm sure I'm sure they make them but uh, I thought that was pretty neat and then I got to nib it around and I found uh, two uh, lantern generators and uh, a stove generator it says it's for a sportsman sportster stove I don't know if that'll fit like the 502's and yeah I guess so it says 502 sportster so anyhow and then instead of those flat wrenches I always when I see those flat wrenches I always pick them up because you can bend them and distort them where you need them if you can find one to fit but the only other thing I think I've seen a couple of griddles and I've seen this aluminum one and it's got like a sliding rack uh, it slides back and forth needs cleaned up of course and I thought well that looks like about the right size for a Coleman stove and lo and behold I turned it over and it is a a Coleman so I'm not sure exactly what to clean that aluminum with I was going to use some oven cleaner but I don't know if that would be too harsh for it or not I kind of just washed it off outside with a little bit of dish liquid but uh, I have to figure out how to clean some of this stuff like uh, that and that font that uh, brass font I don't really want to damage them I just want to clean them up a little bit so if anybody has any ideas let me know and in case you're wondering, it was the last day of the sale today, so I won't get go back tomorrow. But I found this old canvas duffel bag back here, and 
I was tired of carrying everything around so I just threw it all in the duffel bag and uh, when I went up to I told, told the guy I says I, I opened the bag and I said uh, I put some some other stuff in it because he had already told me what he wanted he wanted four dollars for the uh, torch set and I said you already told me four for the torch set but I threw some more stuff in there and he looked in there and looked in the box and looked at the griddle and he said just make it five even so five bucks for that's not a I thought was a pretty decent deal so I finally had a half decent weekend wasn't nothing great I mean there's really nothing outstanding other than the coffee pot I really like it but uh, everything else like the lanterns and stuff are all kind of common and the heater I'm not <clears throat> really too excited about uh, I've never really used one I have a bigger one and this is a smaller one but I did fire it up and it, it works good so I don't know maybe maybe I'll use it sometime but it's always nice to have some extra generators and uh, nice little aluminum griddle so that's all I got for you today uh, maybe I'll find me another sale tomorrow I feel like I'm on a streak talk to you all later be kind to one another